see it. Hey y'all. I'm making some crawfish cornbread dressing and I just want to come on here and show y'all right quick just how I do mine. This is just some onions, some peppers, and some celery that I have sauteed really well. And just a little bit of cooking oil. And today, usually I like to use gizzards and, and uh, pork sausage and different things or whatever, but today I'm using some store-bought dressing mix and this is a really really good brand if you don't feel like being in the kitchen all day putting chicken apart uh, or turkey or whatever you know but use whatever you like in your home this is what i'm using for today and i'm just gonna let this cook down for about two or three minutes Okay, now that the dressing mix, which is basically nothing but pork sausage and chopped up, give this anyway, pre-bought in the store uh, brand. Um, I'm just going to put a little garlic powder, a little onion powder, a little Cajun seasoning, and I like Tony's. You can use whatever you like. I like it. Actually, I like several different brands, but Tony's is what I like for today. Some dried parsley. And y'all tickle me about making comments about me using dried parsley, but I like it. A little black pepper. And I'm going to add a can of creamy mushroom soup. You can put cream of chicken in it or, you know, whatever you like. And I'm also going to add about, I think this is going to be about probably a, a, a cup or a cup and a half of chicken broth that I'm putting in here. And I'm going to let this cook for about another five minutes. Alright y'all, now this has been cooking for about, I guess about seven minutes. And now I'm just going to add in about, I don't know, about a... Uh, Maybe about a half teaspoon of rub sage. Well, maybe a little bit more. And give that a good stir. And now I am going to add in some Louisiana crawfish tails. Juice and all. And I'm going to let this cook for maybe about five minutes. All right, y'all. My cornbread is finished baking. Ain't that some pretty cornbread? Child. I'm tempted to cut a piece of that off of there and eat it. Okay. And my dressing mixture, I just want to say that I did add about another... I think I put a probably about another teaspoon of this Cajun seasoning in. And I put another little dash of the sage in. And to me, the flavor is perfect. Absolutely delicious. So, I have my butter dish here that I'm going to use. And sometimes I mix it up in a different bowl. Today I'm not because I am not in the mood to do all of that cleaning. It's just not going to happen. Uh, 
Well, I think I will. Shit. I think I might go ahead and mix it before I dump it in my dish just to make sure that it's mixed really well. So we're just gonna put some of this dressing mixture, honey, and it's full of crawfish. It I'm telling y'all, I know a lot of y'all like to get on my post and talk a lot of bullshit, and that's fine or whatever, honey, but my food tastes really, really, really good. Uh it's nothing wrong with using those store bought dressing mixes if you get a good brand they are really 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 good and it's a good time saver you know especially if you're cooking a lot of food or whatever it's just what i felt like doing today And I'm going to tell y'all something else. I don't think mine will. Because I usually get it right. You know, with one pan uh, of cornbread. Uh, to the mix that I use. But in the event that like yours is not as moist as you want it to be. You can always just pour a little extra uh, chicken broth in it. You know. And loosen it up a little bit. That little, these little scraps in the uh, skillet. I'm going to eat that. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Just going to get this in my butter dish. All right, y'all. I'm just gonna get this in. This shit ain't hot, huh? Okay. I'm just gonna get this into my. Y'all, I'm going to put this in the oven because everything is already cooked, you know. I'm going to put this in the oven and bake it for about um, I don't know. I guess about 25 or 30 minutes. And I'm going to come back and let y'all see how it comes out. It's going in the oven. I just wanted to come back and let y'all see. I took a fork and messed around with it a little bit and let some of the crawfish, I put some of the crawfish tails so that you could see them and actually know, you know, just what type of dressing it is. I just want to show y'all right quick. I know y'all know this shit already. But I ate the cornbread. That cornbread was something good, y'all. But look at that, how well seasoned my skillet is. Look at that. All I have to do, honey, is take a paper towel or whatever and wipe it out. Look at that. And you can do whatever you want. I spray a little cooking ham on mine.
Swipe it up. And she ready for the next use, honey. All right, y'all. That's about finished crawfish cornbread dressing. Thanks for watching, y'all.